Today, I'm going to be doing Palette Tag 5000 that was created by Sheet Geek. Yes, I have seen Allie Dawson do it, Angelica Neekfist do it, somebody else, I can't remember. But I thought I would do it and share my palettes with you because I love eyeshadow palettes. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you stick around and let's get going. Everybody and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Sheena and makeup is light therapy for me. Today I'm going to be doing the Palette Tag 5000 that was created by Chic Geek and has been done by other beauty YouTubers recently. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to share my palettes with you, tell you a little bit more, you know, give you a chance to learn a little bit more about me and see what kind of palettes I like to use. So, I will have the questions down in the description bar below, description box below. So, if you want to do it yourself, share it on Instagram. If you have a YouTube channel, leave a comment and tell me your palettes. That would be awesome. So, the first one is a palette you wore on a special occasion. Well, when I got married, I had my makeup done. But... This is a palette that I wear basically like every date night in the fall. And that is Minga Musa. Minga Muha. Minga Mua. You know what I mean. I can't pronounce it. But this is just a mauve rose gold colored palette. And I have a ton of these colors of clothes. It are fall colors. So when it comes to the fall, every time my husband and I go out, I use this palette because it does not disappoint. So I know on many of our fun nights out, I have had, sorry that was my dogs, hopefully they don't start barking. I have worn this palette on many a date nights and many fun nights out with my husband. Next is a palette you love but it's repetitive. and. For that, I'm going to go with the Stone Cold Fox palette from ColourPop. This is my neutral palette, but like it could be condensed down and be smaller and I would be perfectly fine with that. Like I don't need a neutral palette this big, but I did opt to keep this palette instead of multiple different neutral palettes so that is a palette i love but it's repetitive okay next is a palette you got your money's worth and this was my first Too faced palette a few years ago i guess about let's see looking to see if it had a date on it i feel like it would okay doesn't have a date on it but it is the Too faced Another one I can't pronounce. <laughs> Mar Amali. Mar, Mar Ali. And this was my first Too Faced palette. When I got it, I used it all the time. You can see that it has been really well loved. And this is not a palette that I ever see anybody talk about. But it's a palette that I still kind of think about getting out and using sometimes. Oh, my camera, my camera battery is going dead, so let me change that out real fast. Okay, next is a palette that is an amazing deal. And I picked the palette I picked because when I bought it, I got it on sale for like 50% off. But it was already a really great price even before that. And that is the Glam Light Ice, Ice Cream Palette. And I mean, really all of Glam Light's palettes are a great deal, but I wanna say I got this one for like 15 or $20. It was really inexpensive. And I mean, I absolutely love this palette. It is so like amazing quality and has just beautiful colors in it. I'm not sure if it's still available or not, but if it is, I definitely recommend picking it up. Okay, next is a quad you love and wish was a larger palette 
And for that one, I picked the ColourPop Sunday Fun Day palette because I absolutely love pink and yellow together, but you don't really see that in much as far as like full, like larger palettes. I think it would really be fun to see like some more shades of yellow and some more shades of pink with like some white mixed in. I just think that would be so pretty and so much fun. So ColourPop, if you want to create it, give me a call. Okay, you love the quality of the eyeshadow, but hate the packaging. So I went through all of my palettes and I could not find any palettes that this fit. Now I did recently declutter all of my Glam Light Hershey Kiss, the ones that are shaped like a kiss. Um, I'll put a picture of them up here. And I did recently declutter all of these palettes. So those would definitely be palettes that I love, but I hate the packaging of them. Show your dream palette with singles. I have one single and it is a multi-chrome from Clarity Cosmetics. I don't have any other singles. I don't use singles. I'm just not, it's just not my thing. So I don't have any singles to share. Palettes you like to combine. So for that one, I've got out Plain Jane Remastered by Adept Cosmetics. And I love to pair this palette with all of these multi shimmery shadows with basically any other palette if i'm getting if i'm doing a pink look it's not uncommon for me to pull to reach into this palette and get out a pink eyeshadow from here to use with my mattes from another palette so plain jane remastered is definitely my go-to for pairing with other palettes. A large palette you wish was smaller. I like this palette, but I just kind of get overwhelmed with it. Other than the rose, I kind of struggle with like making eyeshadow looks. And that is the Glam Light Scooby-Doo palette, the bigger palette. And I mean, like I could do the top row or the second row or the third row or the fourth row or the last row. But I just, it's very overwhelming for me because I just don't, I don't want to do, ooh, almost dropped it. I don't want to do just the rows. So I think if I could move the shadows around, I wish these, sh these pans were magnetic and I would probably take them out and move them around and see if I could arrange it into something that spoke to me a little bit better but i just don't love this palette because it's so big okay eyeshadow palette you wish had a matching face palette i'm not huge on face palettes i don't use them very often i do have probably about 10 or so face palettes but i really like to use the singles on things but when I got to thinking about my collection, this palette came to mind and having shadows that kind of like blushes and highlights that went with this palette would be so cool. And that is the Blend Bunny Lore palette. And I just love the mermaid colors. I think they are so pretty and so much fun. And I think with a matching face palette, that could just be that much more fun. So that would be my, my palette to do a matching face palette with. So I really enjoyed doing this palette tag. It was so much fun. If you're gonna do it, please leave me a comment and let me know so I can check out what palettes you picked. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It helps me and it helps my channel. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell beside it so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye, guys.